What's good everybody, it's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing something that we haven't done on the channel in a long time. You know what I mean? Barring the circumstances, I felt like it was the right time to bring this back, at least for one player. We're going to be doing a college flashback of Tavares Jackson, who just recently tragically passed in a car accident, uh, you know, Sunday, April 12th. Prayers up to him and his family. My condolences. Uh, I was a big fan of Tavares Jackson. I don't feel like he got a fair shake in the NFL, but he was a beast in college. Started off at Ares, at Arkansas, excuse me, transferred to Alabama State. And at Alabama State in his three seasons there, he would throw for 7,200 yards plus, 63 touchdowns, 23 picks, and he would rush for another 11 on the ground. Now, uh, even though uh, Tavares went to a D1 AA school, he still played well enough to be drafted in the second round of the 2006 um, NFL Draft. So take a look at the stats here, number seven. Now Tavares was 6'2", 225. Take a look at his equipment, um, nothing really special here. I just looked at a picture of him from uh, from Alabama State and this was uh, what he looked like pretty much for the most part. Now coming over to his skills, 86 speed, 86 excel, 86 awareness. Coming down here, to throwing stats, 96 throw power, 76 throw accuracy. Now, um, if you guys go over to my second channel, I'm going to be doing the NFL flashback of Tavares for his best season with the Seahawks. And, you know, uh, over there, his throw, ac his, his throw power was 94 and his throw accuracy was like 73. But since this is college, you know, I'm going to put his throw, throw power up a little more because, you know, players that, that play well in college, you know, they usually look like men amongst boys. But the throw accuracy is going to remain low. He, uh, the most he, he only threw for 60% one year in his college career, and I believe that was his last season. So, you know what I mean? We're not going to sit here and pretend like his accuracy was through the roof, but we should be able to come out here and still be able to get good gameplay and get a W. Now, in this game, we're going to be going against Alabama State's SWAC in-state rival, the Alabama A&M Bulldogs. You know what I mean? This is their biggest rival, you know what I'm saying? So, um, it's only right that we bring Tavares out here and try to get a W against his rival. Um, in order for me to get these teams, of course, I had to go to Team Builder, download load him, create Tavares, throw him in the dynasty, and that's how we're able to, you know, get this gameplay here today. How long has it been since I kissed you? I don't want to wait. How long has it been since you held me? I don't want to wait. How long has it been since I felt like this about anything? All right, boys, welcome to the Crampton Bowl here. Alabama State versus Alabama A&M. Uh, whoever made this uh, this team builder in the, in the, in the, in the stadium did a, did a great job, man. But we are at home. Alabama A&M wins the toss. We are going to be rocking out player locked on Tavares. So, you know, it's going to be just like uh, RTG gameplay. So here we go. So with this gameplay, we're still going to be rocking out with my very, very tough sliders that I use. You know what I mean? On all my dynasties. That's my base sliders on the game. Boom, we got a receiver open over the middle. It's Vaughn. He picks up the first down, breaks the tackle. What a throw to Vaughn. I forgot to lock on, but we didn't gain any yards after that. Anyway, 18-yard reception. Boom, got him. Come back to the ball. Forgot to lock on once again, but I'm not controlling the receiver. 16-yard pickup, and Tavares remains perfect on his drive. All right, Tavares is 4-4 on his drive. Here we go, second and nine. Inside the red zone or slightly out of it. Boom. Horrible read, but Tavares yeah, trucks him in. Can he get in the end zone? No, he jukes the wrong way. He was still in option form. All right, boys, we got to find a way to punch it in here. I would love to pass it or run it in with Tavares, but we're going to see how they play this option. Boom. They actually go after the running back. Tavares has a lot of green in front of him. He's in the end zone, and we strike first here against Alabama A&M. Nine-yard rush, baby. Let's go. All right, so we nearly throw an interception on that first, uh, on that first drive there. I mean, on that first throw to, of, of the drive. Forgot to lock on once again, but let's see what Nelson does by himself. He breaks the tackle. He's off to the races. 30, 25, just shy of the 20 at about the 22. 33-yard reception, baby. All right, first and 10, baby. Here we go. Flush out of the pocket. He's got a receiver open. That's got to be six. Turn it up, Nelson. Let's go. And that is the second touchdown here in just the first quarter for Tavares in this offense, baby. The Hornets are up two scores. Let's get it, man. Uh oh. Uh, we got one open, but we're going to try to do it with our legs. Oh, Tavares showing off here. Get out of bounds. No unnecessary hits. Oh, we had him. We still got him. He has the arm strength. Lowry off to the races. 20, breaks a tackle. Teammate knocks over another. And we are up 20 to nothing in just the first half, baby. Let's go. Tavares Jackson is having himself a day here, man. 
this is a rivalry game, so you know I thought even with the tough, I thought with the tough sliders it would make it it would make it harder. But we're wiping the floor with A and M right now. We're playing a lot more free than we get to play with like the uh, the sharks and stuff like that. As we go to Lowry, he's up the sidelines, down, pushed out at the 30, 33 yard pickup. Driving once again here, we got a chance to really, really put this game out of whack. I mean, out of reach for the most part. Big option there. We got a receiver open over the middle. It's McLaughlin. Oh, I was controlling him by mistake. In the red zone once again. Looking for Simmons across the middle. We got him. Get in there, Simmons. Bang. Let's go. 28 nothing, boy. Let's get it, man. All right, boy. So the offense gets the ball back just one more time. <laughs> A&M, you know what I mean? Just can't even hold it to the second half. Let's switch things up here a little bit. Uh, didn't like what they did there. We'll go back to the original play. Tavares takes his shot deep. He has his man. Nelson makes the catch. Ah, oh, he's tripped up at the 10. We'll go ahead and use a timeout here. 55-yard reception for Nelson. Four catches for 127 in this game right now. All right, we'll go first and goal, fam. Boom. We keep it on the read. Cut it up. Tavares ah, oh, is brought down at about the, the two and a half, three. We'll use our timeout. Second and goal. All right, second and goal. Boom. We hand it off to Meeks, and he sneaks in the end zone. And we go up 34, soon to be 35 nothing before we head into the half. Wow, and uh, A&M scores right before the half, you know what I'm saying, with a 97-yard uh, kick return. Wow. This game hates me, dog. They always letting people run, the, run it back on the, uh, on the Super Sim. All right, boys, heading to the locker room. Tavares and Alabama State are up huge on Alabama A&M, and we just, get to, we, we just plan to continue to pour it on here in the second half. All right, second and three. Little play action. Tough throw on the run, and what a layout catch there from Marcus Nelson, man. Full extension on that on that catch right there. All right, boys. Got true clock on now, because this, this one can get really, really ugly. But he got a receiver open over the middle. Is Simmons. Can he get a second touchdown of the day? Breaking tackles. He does. 30-yard reception, baby. Let's get it, man. Second and one. Time running down here in the, in the, in the third quarter. Tavares is going to keep it. Boom. Cut it up. Wheels. Get up out of there. Ah. All right. This is probably going to be the last play of the third quarter here. Bringing Simmons in motion, little, 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 little wild option. Boom. Simmons actually gets in my way, so we're going to keep it. Oh, no. I hate when they leave you stuck in that, in that option and you can't juke properly. But, hey, man, you know what time it is. Get them fours up, baby. 42 to 7 here. I mean, uh, we would have to royally F up in order to lose this game. But we're going to continue to have fun with, uh, with Tavares until Coach takes us out. Flush out of the pocket. We got the wheels to do what we want. Make some blocks downfield. Back juke. Got him. Ah, but we get caught from behind. All right, first and 10, fam. <clears throat> Nobody open, but we got a lot of green in front of us. Oh, yeah, we're not we're not sliding either. Stupid. Oh, of course. Of course, but it's not. I knew. As soon as I said we're not sliding either, I knew that was going to happen, man. It was only right. It was only right that EA had to hold us at least one time. Right, guys? All right, boys, so of course with that turnover, they went down and scored their second touchdown of the game. But we're going to win this one 45-14 to 14, as Tavares and Alabama State beats their rival here. Tavares, only one incompletion on the day, ran for almost 100 on the ground, five total touchdowns. Let's go take a deeper dive into these stats. All right, so Tavares' stats, 15 for 16, 361 yards, four touchdowns, no picks, 93 completion percentage. Wasn't sacked at all, 24 yards uh, per completion. 67 was his longest of the day on the ground. 11 for 93 in the touchdown. Meeks also got a touchdown as well as receivers. Marcus Nelson, 5 for 151 in the touchdown. Danny Simmons, 3 for 71, two touchdowns. Matt Lowry, 3 for 113 in the touchdown. And Clinton Vaughn, 2 for 31. Um, and all in all, man, we played a great game, and this is fun. And uh, I definitely, definitely had to pay homage to Tavares here with this video. Now, if these college flashbacks are something you guys want to continue to see. If you guys want me to bring this back as a third series, this is something I definitely wouldn't mind bringing back because I would do uh, like one or two every week or so or bi-weekly. So it wouldn't really put that much of a strain on me. Just let me know down in the comment section below. Once again, I want to say rest in peace to Tavares Jackson and my condolences are out to him and his family. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, man. If you did, stop smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace.
letting you go I was just letting you know I know the weather is cold But you on your own I ain't no regular Joe Should've left me alone I'm in the zone I'm where the predators roam We at the Senate in Rome And I'm on the throne This ain't no regular poem This ain't that regular tone No Do you follow me?